This guide shows you how you can export your bookmarks and your passwords in Firefox to enable you to transfer them to a new computer. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this guide shows you how you can export your bookmarks and your passwords to a, a new computer in Firefox. Now, the easiest way to transfer your stuff to a new computer, and this transfers absolutely everything, is to set up a basically a, an account with Firefox. I understand not everybody wants to do that, so I'm going to show you the other way of doing this, the manual way of doing it if you don't fancy it. But what you can do is you can click on the three lines up there and where it's got sync and save data, click on sign in and then sign up for a Firefox account. And what this does, this backs up your bookmarks, your settings, your passwords, everything to do with Firefox in the cloud. And then when you want to restore it, say for instance, you buy a new computer or you wipe your computer clean and have to reinstall everything, you just basically load up Firefox, click on that little uh, three lines up there in the corner, click sign in and sign in and uh, it will bring all of your information, all your settings, your homepage, your bookmarks, your passwords, your extensions, it will bring them all back just as they were before. That is the absolute easiest way of doing things and probably the, uh, the, the more wholesome way of doing things. But I understand and I do appreciate not everybody wants to put their stuff in the cloud. So to manually back up your information, what we need to do is let's just open up a new Firefox window there. Don't need to do that, but just gonna do that to get rid of the sign on page and all we do is we just click on the three horizontal lines in the top right hand corner there to get this menu up. So first of all, we're going to do the bookmarks. So click on bookmarks just there. That brings you that up and it brings you all your bookmarks there. Go to the bottom and click on manage bookmarks. And then up here, you've got import and backup. So click on that. And the first thing to do is just click on backup there. OK. And there we go. It basically gives your name bookmarks and it's today's date backwards. So today's date here in the UK is the 19th of October 2022. So as you can see, it says bookmarks 2022 hyphen 10 hyphen 19. So year 2022, month October 10 and day is 19. So all we do is we just choose where we want to save this to. So it's going to save on the desktop, but we could, if we had an external drive or a thumb drive, we could get it to save on there if we wanted to. I'm just going to save mine on the desktop. And there we go. That's the bookmarks saved. So the next thing you want to do is you'll want to save your um, passwords. So what we're going to have to do is we I just clicked out that box there to get rid of that off the screen. Go up to the three horizontal lines just up there. Click on that. Go to settings just down the bottom there. Click on that. And then if we type in finding settings password. OK, and what we'll see here is we'll see a box that says saved logins. So move your mouse over save logins, left click once. And this will be a list of all your logins. OK, you've probably got far more than me. I've only got four on here. So what we want to do is we want to export these to a file now. So click on the three horizontal dots just up there in the top right hand corner to open the menu. OK. And we've got an option there, export logins. So move your mouse over export logins, left click once, and it gives you a warning here. So it says your passwords will be saved as readable text. So anyone can open the exported file, can view them. So you've got to be sure that you store these somewhere safe because anyone can open up the file and see your passwords if they were to get hold of it. But obviously what you're going to do is once you've copied your passwords across, you're going to delete this file or you're going to store the hard drive that you save them to or the USB stick that you save them to. You're going to store that somewhere safe, aren't you? So no one can get their hands on it. So let's click export. And then again, it asks us where do we want to save it? It gives us the file name logins. OK, that's fine. So I'm just going to click save there. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Left click once. OK, so I'm going to close this down. 
just close all the windows down there and there you go as you can see I've got two files I've got bookmarks and logins just there so we need to put these on a USB stick if we've got one or put them on a, um, a, a, a hard drive so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug a USB stick into my computer okay and what I'm going to do is there you go, it's just come up, USB drive D is my stick's name. So I'm going to highlight both of those. I can do them one at a time if you want, but I'm going to highlight both. No, no, let's do them one at a time. So left click on once on bookmarks, just the once, then click the right mouse button. And if you're using Windows 11, you want to click show more options. Go to send to, and my drive was USB drive D, that just appeared, so left click USB drive D. Yours will be different, it'll be whatever your, your thumb drive or your USB drive is. So let's just click on that, and that sent that across. Next I'm going to go down to Logins, left click once on it, and then right click on it. As I'm using Windows 11, I'm going to have to click Show More Options. Go up to Send To and then find the USB drive there. Like I say, mine's D, that's what it came up when I plugged it in, so left click that there. And that sent a copy to the pen drive. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete these off the desktop now, so uh, let's just do them one at a time. So right click on each of the files and then click on the bin, or if you've got Windows 10 or below, click on delete. So right click, if you've got Windows 11, again, click on the bin, if you've got Windows 10 or below, then click on delete. Okay, that's taken them to the recycle bin. And what I want to do now is just for safe, just for safety's sake, I'm going to empty the recycle bin. So I'm going to move my mouse over the recycle bin, right click once, go to empty recycle bin and left click and then left click on yes there. And that's emptied my recycle bin. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my new PC. Okay, so I'm, I'm at my new PC. I'm going to open up Firefox. And then first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go there to import bookmarks. If it's not there, then let's click on the three horizontal lines on the right hand side. Go to bookmarks, click on that and then go to manage bookmarks, click on that and then go to import and backup, click on that and go to restore. And then we've got an option here, choose file. So I'm going to click on choose file. OK, I'm going to find my USB stick, which is the D drive there. I've plugged that in and there we are. There's bookmarks 221019. So let's double click on that. And there you go. It says this will replace all of your current bookmarks with the backup. Are you sure? So if you've got any bookmarks already on the new PC, it's going to overwrite them. So make sure you're OK with that. So click on OK. And there we go. Hopefully the bookmarks should have restored. So I'm just going to click on the cross just up there. And yet, there we go, all my bookmarks are back. Now, the next thing we need to do is to restore the password. So let's go back into uh, the three lines there. And just there, we've got passwords. We could go into settings and type passwords, but I've just noticed it's there. So left click passwords. Now we click on the three dots just up there in the top right hand corner. And here, unfortunately, we haven't got an option to import from file. All we've got is import from another browser or export logins. So what we need to do is we need to make some changes to Firefox to enable that. So I'm just going to go into the address bar at the top there and I'm going to delete out whatever's in there. And I'm going to type in there about colon config. So about colon config, just as it's shown on the screen there. If you need more time to write this down, then pause this video, unpause it once you've written it down. OK, so once you've typed in about colon config, all in lowercase, then just press enter or return on your keyboard or click on that little arrow just over there. So what you're going to get is this proceed with caution come up. So leave warn me when I attempt to access these preferences. Leave that ticked. And then what we need to do is we need to click on accept the risk and continue. Now what we need to do is we need to click into search preference name and we need to type in there the following sign on or one word or lowercase dot management dot page dot file import or one word dot enabled and the i for import is a capital i so once again 
if you need to copy this down, please pause the video and come back to it once you've copied this down. I will try and put these commands in the description below the video. So if you do need them, hopefully they will be there. Okay, so once you've typed that in, then you should see below it what you just typed in again. And if it's got false to the right of it, then move your mouse over it and double left click, and it should go bold, and then it should say true. So once it says true, then what you can do is you can click on the three lines just up there in the top right hand corner, go to passwords, click on that, and then go to the three dots just up there in the top right hand corner, click on that, and there we go. We've actually now got the option import from a file. So move your mouse over that, left click once, and what we wanna do is we wanna select our pen drive or our drive, wherever we save the logins to, and double click on logins once you see it, and hopefully then the logins should import. If none of your passwords do import, then there is a bug currently in Firefox as of October 2022. So I'm gonna show you how to get around that. So if none of your logins have come through, so what you wanna do is you wanna click in the address bar at the top and type in there about colon config. And then once you've typed that, press enter or return on your keyboard or click on the arrow just there. Click on accept the risk and continue, leave that ticked. And then what we wanna do is we want to type in search preference name. We wanna type there security.allow underscore eval underscore. And as we're typing this, it should come up underneath security.allow underscore eval underscore in underscore parent underscore process. Once you see that, then click on that once just to highlight it and then double click on it so that that becomes true. Okay, so once we've done that, click on the three horizontal lines up there, go back to passwords, click on that, go to the three dots up in the top right hand corner, click on that, go to import from a file, click on that, and then double click on logins or find your drive and then click double click on logins. And there we go, it says import complete, done. Now, what we need to do is we need to click back on this tab up the top here that says advanced preferences. And what we wanna do is we want to click on or double click on that security.allow underscore eval underscore in underscore parent underscore process and put that back to false. Then we can click on the cross just up there just to shut that down. So there we go. That's your bookmarks back. And if we click on there, your passwords, there you go. There's your passwords re-imported too. So that guide showed you how to manually export and import both your passwords and your bookmarks to a new computer running Firefox. And don't forget, whilst you're on my YouTube channel, why not have a look around? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, and maybe even amuse you. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released, hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.